Were you aware of the cost effectiveness and increased efficiency of sodium ion batteries compared to traditional lithium ion batteries? Recognizing these advantages, Chinese automotive company BYD is intensifying its efforts by constructing a new sodium ion battery facility in Suzhou, backed by a staggering investment of $1.4 billion. It might sound astonishing, but such bold moves are characteristic of Tesla's primary competitor in the electric vehicle sector. Welcome to Tesla Global. Subscribe for more Tesla news. Let's get into the video. So what does this shift entail and how will it shape the industry moving forward? Let's delve into it. In a recent video of mine, I discussed BYD's remarkable achievement of surpassing Tesla's position in the electric vehicle market. Not only has the Chinese giant exceeded Tesla in terms of EV volume, but it has also solidified its position as the largest electric car manufacturer globally. However, there's more to this narrative. Beyond its thriving EV business, BYD also dominates another crucial sector, battery manufacturing. As a leading global battery manufacturer, BYD continually pushes the boundaries of battery technology, striving for enhanced efficiency, affordability, and eco-friendliness. The company's ambitious plans include establishing an annual production capacity of 30 gigawatt hours at its cutting-edge sodium ion battery facility. This facility is specifically tailored to produce sodium ion batteries optimized for electric vehicles with a particular focus on micro vehicles and scooters. BYD is not alone on this daring journey. The company's subsidiary, FinDream's Battery, has partnered with the tricycle giant Hai Group. The two companies signed an agreement on November 18th in Shenzhen to build the Suzhou Sodium Ion Battery Plant. This collaboration aims to make Suzhou the hub of battery production for micro vehicles and scooters. According to the announcement, these types of electric vehicles are identified as the optimal users of sodium ion packs. If you are new to the channel and want to find out more latest news about Tesla and the electric vehicle market, subscribe. This partnership could result in positive outcomes because it isn't the first time BYD and Hay Group have joined forces. Previously, in November 2022, they collaborated to construct a standard battery plant in Suzhou. The primary product of this facility is blade batteries, which utilize lithium iron phosphate, or LFP chemistry. Together, the companies made a hefty investment of 10 billion yuan to make this project a reality. The groundwork began in January of the previous year, and the construction of this massive factory, spanning 310,000 square meters, is almost complete. Trial production is anticipated to commence by March 2024. This successful partnership provides a solid foundation for their current and future collaborations in the EV and battery manufacturing industry. Previously, rumors were circulating that the BYD Seagull would be the first vehicle off the production line to contain a sodium ion battery. These whispers sparked excitement in the EV industry as such a development would have marked a significant milestone. However, when the car made its debut in April, it was equipped with a standard LFP blade battery from BYD, not the anticipated sodium ion battery. This switch seemed to put an end to the rumors and BYD has stayed relatively silent on the subject since the launch. The company has not yet made any further comments or clarifications regarding the initial rumors or their future plans for sodium ion batteries in their EV range. If you want to watch my video on the BYD Seagull EV, click the link in the description. So what are the possible benefits of the sodium ion batteries? While these batteries might not be the best fit for larger electric vehicles due to their lower energy density, they do hold promise in other areas. Specifically, they could become a preferred choice for lower-end short-range vehicles. This is because such vehicles do not necessarily require high energy density as their primary use does not involve long-distance travel. 
Additionally, sodium-ion batteries could provide a viable solution for power grid energy storage. In this context, the size of the battery isn't a significant hindrance. Power grid storage requires the capability to store a substantial amount of energy rather than the compactness of the battery. Therefore, sodium-ion batteries, with their unique characteristics, could meet this demand effectively, offering a feasible alternative to lithium batteries. According to Bloomberg NEF, adopting sodium batteries could significantly lessen the strain on lithium resources. Specifically, the projection suggests that by 2035, sodium could reduce the lithium demand by approximately 272,000 tons. This figure could increase to over 1 million tons in scenarios where lithium supply falls short of usage. In short, the advancement of sodium-ion batteries could pave the way for a more sustainable and versatile energy storage landscape, accelerating the transition towards a cleaner and greener future. Sam Adam, who leads the battery materials sector at CRU Group Consultancy, offers a noteworthy perspective on the possible impact of sodium-ion batteries on the lithium market. Adam believes sodium-ion technology will have a role in optimizing the balance between lithium supply and demand. In his view, sodium-ion batteries could mitigate the extreme volatility in lithium prices by providing an alternate choice for energy storage, especially where high energy density is not a priority. Sodium-ion could moderate the demand for lithium and stabilize its market prices. The success of sodium-ion batteries is based on enhancing the cycle life of these cells, that is, the number of times they can be charged and discharged before requiring replacement. On average, sodium cells currently boast a life cycle of about 5,000 cycles, which is actually impressive, but still falls short when compared with the most cost-effective lithium products that offer around 7,500 cycles. Bridging the gap between the life cycle of sodium iron and lithium iron batteries is the main challenge. Duo Fu, an analyst at Restad Energy, says that if this hurdle can be overcome, there could be a rise in the demand for sodium iron batteries. Currently, the sector of sodium based cell production appears to be primarily under the influence of Chinese manufacturers, with a stronghold over the majority of lithium battery production. Chinese producers enjoy a competitive edge. This dominance stems from the scale of their operations, which subsequently allows for lower operational costs. Large-scale operations are key for reducing production costs, a significant advantage that Chinese manufacturers have over European and American competitors. This cost-benefit enhances the competitive edge of Chinese manufacturers in the worldwide market, making it tough for other manufacturers to compete at the same level. So with BYD's shift to sodium-ion production, the sector is likely to witness a significant change in the competitive landscape. This shift is expected to bring forth new opportunities for manufacturers, especially in terms of meeting the growing demand for energy storage solutions. This industry shift will also drive further research and development on sodium ion batteries, potentially improving their overall performance and cost effectiveness. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the potential of sodium ion batteries in the energy storage market. Do you believe this move will solidify BID's position as a dominant player in the industry? or will it create opportunities for other manufacturers to catch up? Additionally, what implications do you think this will have on Tesla? If you got this far into the video, let me know in the comments below. Why not become a channel member and show your support to the channel? The Tesla Global News newsletter link will also be in the description. If you found the video insightful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Farewell.